Hey, 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 okay. I'm coming on a little early because normally, normally Marty DeGarmo keeps talking, so I scheduled a little later. So uh, technically not going to start for another uh, 13 minutes, but that's okay. You guys said, get on there, Chris. Let me say hi to a few people real quick. Uh, Patricia Perrin, what's happening? Lister T, got a storm going through. How you doing? Steve Noel, Sabias Jana. Andy is in the house. Bill Muss is in the house. Uh, let's see. Alberta Reed, how you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm looking. I think that might be it for now. That's okay. Tim Dillon, what's happening, Tim? Captain Big Head. Gemma, what's happening? Yep. Where there's one sister, there's the other sister. <laughs> uh, Steve Noel, I got you. Gemma, Gemma. Okay. All right. So, guys, we have a lot of things going on right now with products. We got everyone. You heard me say it on our, our Speedy Live last night that we have quite a few people talking about products. And you know me. I don't like repeating or doing what everyone else is doing. And that's great because uh, Red Redfern is doing an excellent job talking about products. He's making videos. I believe Jeffrey Morlock is doing it too. People are doing it on the shows, and that's great and dandy. But that's not me. You know me. I like doing things different. So let's see. First of all, there is nothing going on to my knowledge that I normally get on uh, tonight. Normally, we have the Robin show with myself and Marty. That's postponed for this week and next week due to Robin's mom is uh, not, she's not feeling well. Reach out for some prayers. I know Robin and her sister are having a, uh, it's not fun, guys. I, I've been there. It's just not fun. Reach out, say some prayers for that family. And then when it gets, when, you know, when everything levels out, we'll be okay. But so just know that. In other words, you can go watch a movie tonight. Actually, you can go outside, go swimming, take a walk. Breathe some fresh air because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm actually painting. So here's what I want to talk about today. I went out yesterday because I'm in the process of painting things in my backyard now. I'm going back and forth from the house to the backyard. And uh, I'm driving along. And like I said, I don't get out too much. And I look up at the gas prices where I'm buying, driving by a gas station. $5.10 a gallon. And I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. And then I know I got my friends, Julie's in, in uh, California. She said it's over seven. I heard another country's over $10 a gallon. What the hell is going on with this world? All right, I'm thinking, so I actually got on the internet. I'm looking at things in Michigan. In Michigan right now, there's people running out of gas on the roads trying to get to work. They're running out of gas because they don't have the extra funds to put in their gas tank. Can you imagine just Michigan, $5 a gallon? And maybe some of these people are making 10, 15 bucks an hour and they're trying to make a choice here. Huh, what's my choice? Should I buy some food or should I put some gas in my car to get the work? Maybe I better not buy those meds, medicine I need. You know, listen, I wanna do a shout out and by all means, I have friends that work in the uh, the oil industry, let's say. One of them is my best friend, okay? I'm not pointing fingers or blaming anybody. But I'm going to call out to every gas station owner, uh, manufacturer in the world. It's time that you guys start giving back, okay? You know we just went through one hell of a year with coronavirus. And what it did, two years... All right. And then all of a sudden we got a new president, new people who never do nothing for us. Uh, and I'm not blaming it on them. I guess I could, but I won't because I'll get yelled at. Next thing you know, gas prices are through the roof. So I'm going to call out all the big gas stations out there, the corporations. When's the last time you gave back to the world? When's the last time you said, hey, we're going to take the hit with your multi-billion dollar quarterly profits. All right. Billion dollar quarterly profits. And I tell you what, why don't you say for the entire summer, we're going to make gas $1 a gallon to help to give back, to help out. 
You know you can afford it, and you know you can do it. Don't you think that it's time? I see a lot of places giving back, but I've never really seen the gas companies give back. You keep taking. Why? Oh, because we know, you know, you know that we need you. All right, but listen, I get it. Business is business, but why don't you do that? Why don't you pick sectors, pick states? This state for this week is going to be a dollar a gallon. These 10 states next week is going to be a dollar. Hey, man, just bounce it back and forth. California, seven bucks a gallon? I got friends over there. They can't go anywhere. They can't do anything because they can't put gas in their car. It's too much flipping money. So gas stations, gas manufacturers, don't you think it's time? And, I, and, and this is still about impassive, Okay. And this is what I'm saying the world is coming to. Jobs are becoming more scarce. All right. Not only are they becoming more scarce, but people just can't pay what they used to pay to individuals. Okay. This is what I've been trying to lean toward all of you for the last two years. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's asking for me. Somebody, somebody text Marty Lowe and tell him where to come find my YouTube channel. All right, and passive is going to allow you not to worry about gas prices or bills. After we launch, mind you, give it a little time. But still, don't you think it's, I mean, there's some major corporations out there who make, like I said, billions of dollars quarterly profits. So I'm asking, follow the impassive way. We're a giving company. This is what's changing all of us. We understand what a pass is all about and that we do want to give back. But to my crazy knowledge, I'm thinking companies that already have multi-billions of dollar profits, you can't throw people a bone when, when, when times are tough. You can't make it, a, you know, two years ago it was a dollar a gallon. People were happy. Oh, you weren't selling gas. You weren't selling gas, so you had to cheapen it. All right? Why don't you try cheapen it because some family can't afford to get the medicine they need because they had to put gas in the car to get to their J-O-B. So I, I'm asking you, you give me a reason why out there that people, companies, corporations can't give back like that. You guys name me one, one gas company that's actually giving back. Let's actually cut prices. So listen, this month, it's a dollar a gallon for anyone that comes. All right. You help out that little, that franchise, that little gas station, they're going to sell more candy, more pop, because people are going to have extra money to do it. See, gas stations really don't make money off their gas. What they do make money is when they buy, sell things out of their little store. So when someone's coming to a gas station, it's five bucks a gallon or 10 bucks a gallon or seven. They're not buying the candy bars, the pop, the little, uh, what we love, the sausage, the whatever you call those things. I love them. I always get them. Not no more. So listen, gas companies, check out and passive and what we're trying to do. We would love for you to join us. We would love for you to be part of Oh Bless. If you want to make your businesses really mean something, not just make money, but people say, wow, this gas station, let everyone have gas for a week for a buck a gallon. All right. You're helping out the economy. You're not just putting money in your pocket. For God's sakes, you know what? If I own a party store and my light bulbs go out or they break, do I charge people extra money so I can get those light bulbs? No, I don't. Kind of same thing for you gas companies. You guys break a pipeline, so you say, so you raise gas prices up to fix it when you have billions of dollars of quarterlies, profits. I don't understand it. So I'm asking you, all corporations, check out Impassive. Let us teach you the new way of running a business. Let us teach you a new way of giving back. All right. The more you give back, the more these people are going to keep coming to you. Understand that. All right, let me say hi to a few people. And I know I'm going a little off track today, guys. I'm not the product I to talk about that's going to talk about products. 
Fred, Jeffrey, other people, Dr. Bill, they're talking about products. I want to put things in your head that make sense to all of us. Those products are phenomenal. They're going to help us all out. But I want to put ideas in your head to say, wow, yeah, we could change things. We just got to stick to it. All right, let me say hi. Sam Pat, what's happening? I think it's Steven or Stephanie. I'm not sure. I see Steph. Uh, Aaron Frost, Jacqueline Lewis. Hope you had a good birthday yesterday. Virginia DeSanto. <laughs> Myra Aquino, how you doing? Terry Curtis. Beckett, what's happening? Julie Wynn, there you are. There's a California. There's over seven bucks a gallon of gas. Talk to her every day. She's got two daughters she drives around. All right, pretty soon she's going to have to buy a wagon and pull them around. That's how high gas prices. Juanita, hey guys, wherever you live, write the gas prices in here. I want to just do a comparison. Uh, <laughs> AI technology, what's happening? Lynn Nakamoto, hi, corporate greed, absolutely. You know what, That's Lynn makes a good point. Corporate greed. Can you imagine if everyone just, well, listen, gas companies, you know, electric cars, that's coming. Self-driving, AI-induced. I would start scratching our backs right now, you know, because uh, I think gas is always going to be around with motors and stuff like that. But when the electrical cars really, really come on the scene, and they are kind of coming on the scene, you know, your, your gas is going to be worth nothing. Remember that. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So I'm asking all these corporate people that are making lots of money, that live in big, big, expensive houses, have yachts, 10 houses all over the world. It's time to rethink your life. It's time to give back. It's time to follow the new way of doing business, which is called Impassive. Let us help you create a better business environment for your company. All right. Let's not, let's not say, listen, when people walk into an impassive founder's office, let's say, they're thankful. They're, they're going to say, my God, thank you so much, impassive. Thank you so much, Aspenfara. When you walk into a gas station, and correct me if I'm wrong, I went there the other day. I walked into that gas station. Gas station sure enough, there's five people waiting in line, counting, oh, man, pulling change and saying to the poor gas station guy who doesn't really create the, the prices, saying, are you kidding me? Five bucks a gallon? They're yelling at this guy. He just works at the gas station. And by the way, gas stations don't set the price. The corporates set the price. All right, it's a job. Someone has to do it. But man, to those people that are listening that have that job, I'm asking you, time to give back. Go to your top dogs and say, hey, why don't we start giving back a little bit? We made a lot of money. Let's give back a little bit because everything you give back, you can tax right up. Smart businesses know this. All right. But right now the world needs cheaper gas prices. All right. They need better products. Now, a passive doesn't sell gas, but we got ways of products that'll help your business. Definitely help. Well, bless is going to help because it's going to create a wonderful work environment for your company. And showing the world what you give. Can you imagine seeing on the news? I don't want to say any gas station names, but a big mayor, but a big <laughs> almost dead, a big gas company just donated, you know, one billion dollars to all the gas stations, let's say through the United States, for one month where everyone gets one one dollar a gallon of gas. See, that's simple stuff you gotta think of. That's all. That's all they got to do. Now, how many gas companies are there? There's quite a bit. If you guys all got together, you're still going to make money, but you're also going to say, people are going to say, wow, when you walk into that gas station, they're not going to be complaining. Hey, this is all right, man. They're, they're giving back. They're helping me help my kids. That's what a passive's doing. All right. And a lot of people still are a little crazy. Oh, it's not. It's when's it going to happen? It's going to happen. But I tell you what. I don't hear you complaining about putting ten, seven bucks a gallon in your gas. All right. When's that going to change? Why don't you start asking those questions? And passive is coming. It's going to change your world. 
It's going to give you residual pocket change, if you want to call it that. It's going to create a new lifestyle for you. But why don't you go complain to corporates that have been ripping you off for their entire history of their company? Think about that for a second. And boy, I'm going way off in this live. I don't know what you think of it, but I just try being honest about it. And passive is the new way to do business. Welcome. Welcome world to Impassive. All right. You will learn from what this company is going to do. It'll educate you on what you should do for your company. Do we have products? We do. Go see Red Redford. He'll tell you all about them. Go see Jeffrey Morlock. He'll tell you all about them. He'll tell you what they can do for your company. But Impassive is definitely going to change the world. It will change the scenery, the color. You're going to see people smiling. Why? Because people are earning residual income. All right. And they go get to spend time and do whatever they want. And they probably won't have to worry about gas prices. But the way I look at it, it never hurts to ask. It never hurt, hurts to ask a company. Why don't all of you take five minutes out of your busy day and uh, email one of these corporate gas stations, corporate manufacturers of gas and oil. Let, tell them your story. Hey, man, any way you can help us out? It's hard times right now. And then let them know about a passive, where you learn this from, about giving back. That's all. Pretty simple live today, guys. Wanted to make it different. I don't want to stay in the same routine as everyone else because they're doing a great job. And I, I try to create my own lane of doing things different. But I hope you enjoy this. I did not mean to make anyone sour. I'm passive still here. Oh, by the way, you got about less than six days to get some new people in as founders. All right, I wouldn't waste that time. Uh, I would start sending things out to people because after the, listen, the day the 22nd starts, you will not allowed, you're not gonna be allowed to become a founder anymore. So remember that. I don't wanna hear one, one anybody complaining. Actually, most people aren't complaining. They can't wait for it to happen because they know that's gonna take us to the next step, literally. So one more plea out there. Let's see, Stephen Johnston. You're right. There's no, here, listen, gas companies. And trust me, I got a really good friend, uh, one of my best friends that works for a gas company, and I'm not knocking him <laughs> by any means. Stephen Johnstone said, there's no oil company that, gave, that gives back, Captain. You're right, but it's time. Maybe we put it in their ear, Steve. Maybe it is. Juanita, what's happening? Let me jump onto some names. Marcella, what's happening? Um, Kelly, how you doing? Marie Pendy, how you doing? And updates. Let's see. What's the update? You want to update? It's here. It's here. That's the updates. I wouldn't be on here talking if I didn't believe in something. And passive is truly going to be the leader on how businesses are going to run in the future. David Switzer, how you doing? Aaron Frost. Akram, what's happening? Bangladesh. And who? if I missed you, Karina Lance, there you are. John Barula, what's happening? If I missed you, I apologize, guys. Wait, there's a new one. Uh, MST, Raina, how you doing? Casey Zevenberg, there you are. Guys, I did come on a little early. I apologize. Because uh, Marty, I never know how long he's going to go, so I scheduled a little later. So, But I got some painting to do. It's very hot in Michigan. Remember, guys, think about the gas stations, I'm telling you. Shirley Dotson. <laughs> I know I went off a little bit today, but... Terry Thompson. Hey, man, don't you think it's okay that we get angry once in a while? I mean, aren't you sick of it? Aren't you sick of it? People run it out of gas because they had no money to put gas in their tank to get the work. Well, that's a shame. People still hungry. People still starving. People don't, don't still have good water. What the hell is going on with this world? Guess what? Check out Impassive. If you want change, you got to do something about it. And that's all I'm saying. Six days, folks. Six days. If you really want that change, if you really want to listen, if you want us to stop complaining and do something about it, a passive is, is doing something about it because it's going to tackle all these things. All right. That's the honest truth. All right. I got to get going. I love every one of you. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump it to the gas prices, but on the gas companies. 
Bring the gas down. People can't afford to eat you, ding dongs. All right. I love every one of you. A passive is the new way. A passive can teach every business in this world how to do it right. Trust me on that and still make money. It's a win-win situation. Happy birthday if you got a birthday. If you're sick, we're praying for you. I know we had some founders lose some uh, family members. Narelle Warcon, I know lost someone in their family. Two people, actually. Uh, condolences out to you. Oh, there was another lady. I can't think she lost her mother. I apologize. I'll think of the name. I, I can't remember who it was, but I apologize. Uh, and, and condolences to your family. All right. I got to go. John White. John White's in the house. Oh, that's right, guys. Keep keep pushing this. Just tell me about p- people about it. People need help right now, guys. It isn't, and it's not in just third world countries. It's everywhere. The world is slowly just getting crushed by corporate greed, by evil people. Let's let's just get rid of the evil people. Let's get rid of corporate greed. Let's show them what a passive can really do. And let's just do this. All right. I love everyone. I've been talking way too long. God bless you all. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on Friday. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I love every one of you. Uh, don't forget to check out Red Redfern's uh, live today. He did a recap. He's also doing, I believe, one product a day. Marty DeGarmo is also talking about products in his lives, two great lives. I know Jeffrey Morlock and Milo are doing some live uh, product lives. Way to go, guys. Keep doing it. Uh, Bill Must, John White, Timmy Johnson, putting out excellent product lives. Keep doing it, guys. All right. I got to go. I'll see y'all later. Bye.